Hey there! Wanting to celebrate because we recently were named Travel and Leisure's Most Wished For Airbnb in Maryland. So that's exciting. It's just something we stumbled on and a website and wanted to share it with everyone and celebrate this little bit of prosperity. And yet you can see, even without knowing that, what I have been able to experience for a while now is what I call unconditional prosperity and what I've been sharing with clients to how that works. How it works is unconditional prosperity is similar to unconditional love, unconditional safety, and I believe lots of times we humans think, well, that's not possible. It's not really possible to do unconditional love. And yes, maybe it's not all the time, but the thing I do really see is every day people, we can wake ourselves up to unconditional love for the very people and situations that most trigger us when we are able to identify the conditions we've placed on them. So as soon as we start placing conditions on ourselves, on others, on life as it's showing up, I need this to be this way, then we've got emotional pain. That the only real thought, the only thought behind pretty much every kind of emotional pain is this should be different than it is or in the past, this should have been different than it was, or in the future, this will be in such a state that I will be wishing it were different than it was, and we fear being in that place in the future. And so we have, you know, all of that is coming from these mind-made conditions that we came up with when we were very little and very innocent and had an interesting interpretation of life as it was coming to us. And those conditions may have helped us at some times and in some places, but right now they basically just create pain. So the condition being, I need it to be a certain way in order to feel loved, in order to feel happy, in order to feel like there's enough. And my definition of prosperity is feeling that there is enough and there will be enough. And maybe that there always has been enough. And when you start questioning the thought, I've been working a lot with one client lately who very much has the not enough paradigm going since she was very young. And we went really deeply into all the ways that's playing out. And we just sat there and witnessed the no-win situation it created. It was like no matter what the situation was, there was a yes, but not enough. Yes, but there's too much. Too much of this, too much of that, not enough of that. And whenever you see those polarities, whenever your monkey mind is saying too much or not enough, you can count on that it's going to be sort of a pain creating situation. It implies a comparison. It's, it's your mind trying to play God in a way, saying here's what needs to happen. I know best what needs to happen here. The problem is we are conveying to the littlest part of ourselves, the most dependent and innocent and trusting part, you don't get to be happy until X, Y, and Z, until they behave differently, until there's this much money in the bank account, until you have this many friends, until there's this big family gathering going on, or until Whatever it is, we've been able to kind of look at those things and go back through a person's life and see the absolute enoughness of the things that were happening at the time, except for the definition, this is not enough. And so that is how unconditional prosperity works. And for me, I don't know if you can see, uh, they're kind of, they've just started a fire pit over there. But my guests over at the cottage, see that little stucco cottage in the background? And here's my house, which also has an upstairs flat. And then we have a carriage house attached to the cottage garage and recently got a little camper. And sometimes I rent out my own house too. And when we have retreats, we take over the entire place. So basically, 
each one of those things got created a little, little, little bit at a time. And there was, there's some kind of way of investing in yourself where if you're in that place where you believe that things are enough and are going to not be enough and you will have enough, it allows you to invest in yourself. Um, whereas if there's that not enoughness, there's a fear of lack. There's a fear that there will be lack in the future because there's lack now. And what's interesting, when I worked with the client, as there was a few people actually that it's all coming up this week and, and we're really focused in on this, is that the underlying motives, what's keeping that story going? Why not drop the story that we have to scrutinize what's going on and point to what's wrong with it? And what I'm seeing is that the belief is, well, that's what's going to motivate me. If I'm not really in that not enough place, how will I ever motivate myself to do more and get enough? But what it is, is it doesn't work that way because it always keeps the enough out there away from you somewhere. And something about having having questioned that not enough thought, which is what we've been doing and everybody's kind of seen through it also this week to where it's, wait a minute, you know, look at what is here and look at what if it is causing pain, then it's also enough because it gives me my path out of that pain. And it's phenomenal that if that's your mindset, then it's not that you're just gonna sit on the couch and do nothing. You still get out and create. I didn't create all of this little by little by little by believing, ugh, not enough, that's bad. It was more of a happy future dream that led me each step of the way to create something. And whether or not we were named by Travel and Leisure magazine as the top Airbnb in Maryland, it was still enough. It was, and the places where it wasn't enough, it was more of a, okay, let's sit with this. We've, I mean, the places where there's been problems along the way, of course there have been problems and challenges and, and lack of bookings and, you know, different people not, you know, but for the most part, the idea that they, are happy here and that I'm happy here and that we have enough and it is enough at any stage in time. Like right now, look at that that step there. That step fell apart and it was looking really bad for a while. We had these wood steps because I thought I would replace it with a deck. Well, it's been three years and I haven't replaced it with a deck yet. And yet that's okay. I thought the deck was gonna happen this fall and other things are happening this fall. I'm putting more money into the into the coaching business or in just more time and energy because we're getting such great results so the deck's not going to happen right now but what happens is you will be led to exactly whatever it is that you're needing and oh my goodness Winnie has got herself a locust which is <laughs> she actually kind of dug it up and it's going crazy <laughs> sorry about that so anyway that's why we call this video freedom friday because i like to just really make these from where we're at on this given friday and this given friday is the last friday of this quarter be while we're ending a quarter with the year-long mastermind group and starting another one on tuesday september 5th and for this little week week and a half i've offered 25% off of that really amazing year-long group that has created so many changes in people's life. It's been another celebration this week that I, I met with people who had been in the year-long mastermind group in the past and just like celebrating the phenomenal changes in their marriages and their health and their ability to get themselves back to work, their ability to lower their anxiety and their level of anger and alienation. And so there's just a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of what we do here is celebrating the littlest changes within yourself and letting that be enough. And letting the littlest things where you walk forward into your vision be enough. Letting it even be enough when you're upset about stuff and that leads you to take another look and help those that thinking that's creating the problem, that not enough thinking, that um, I'm too much this. Someone wrote to me and said, oh, I'm too sensitive just this morning. And, and to really look at that and go, no, I'm just the exact right amount of sensitive. 
otherwise it wouldn't be showing up. There is no too much, not enough. There is just what is here. And only our mind telling us that is what takes it out of way. So I've got a link to our new little landing page that we did to celebrate this. So you can go look at all these five little properties that create our spot, if you would like, built very slowly out of a huge, what would appear to be lack of prosperity and illness. But just keep putting one foot in front of the other. And who knows, you may end up being the best in some state of something um, without even having made that as your goal. And the other link I'm putting there is if you're interested in checking out this year-long mastermind, I still have slots open this weekend and Monday and Tuesday to meet with people who are really interested in seeing just absolutely pretty much guaranteed change in your life tangible sustainable change so now's a good time September is a good time to start new things and to learn and it's an amazing group we've got going there are eight people there now I cap it off at 12 so let me know if you want to check it out and see if it's a good fit for you take care all right bye bye